if you are watching this video, that means your controller is already taken apart from watching the first part of this video. If you did not watch the first part, you could check the description for the link. I bought this extended range antenna kit from another person on eBay. I'll include the link to the listing in the description. I really like the design of it. It basically replaces the top antenna with this wire harness. So you don't have to drill any holes like I've seen for a few different ones. The new antenna is quite bigger than the old one, so I'm sure it will help with the reception. It also includes a screwdriver. Basically, these two right here will be replacing these two inside of your controller, except externally. They definitely look bigger than the standard ones. The connections are glued down with some kind of white glue. Carefully peel it off, then try removing the wires. Attach the new antenna base to the top of the controller where the old antenna was. You have to kind of twist it into place so it fits into the grooves. Here is what you need to hook up. Black at the top, gray in the middle, and then the white at the bottom. When you are hooking up the new wires, the wires are all a certain length so you can't really mess this up. I didn't want to remove the old internal antennas, so I just tucked the wires behind in a corner and left them alone. The cables snap in and hold pretty well, but you can go back and add hot glue to secure it. And that's about it for the internal parts. Go ahead and close up the controller. Don't forget to hook up three wires. Close up the back and make sure the edges are flush and put in the four screws. Clamp on the front of the external antenna base and screw it in tightly. Make sure it does not wobble. So now let's screw in the new antennas. This is replacing the small one that was sticking out the back before. It feels and looks pretty good. Then all that is left is the two side Wi-Fi panels. Make sure you tighten them securely. And there you have it. Pretty simple install. And what I was thinking is it gives you options to upgrade. If you ever wanted to replace these with anything else down the line, you could just unscrew them and replace them. Thanks for watching.